hello you guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious burrito bowl with my favorite tomatillo salsa and it's going to be delicious i think you're going to love it so let's go ahead and get started with the first part you're going to need to boil up a pound of tomatillos a serrano jalapeno pepper um, onion and two garlic cloves you're going to need some lime some onion powder a bit of cilantro, some salt, and some pepper. Super easy. Once your tomatillos and all the other stuff has come to a boil and they're cooked, fully cooked, um, you're going to go ahead and add them to your blender. Once you've added them to your blender, you can go ahead and start by adding the rest of your ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some cilantro. Put in some lime. After that, we're going to go ahead and add in our onion powder. And I prefer using onion powder over um, chopped onion. I just feel like it gives it just the consistency that I like it because or else it'll get too chunky so I am opting for the onion powder so now that I've added everything in oh I also did add at that point my pepper and my salt so don't forget that and just go ahead and blend it up and now that it's completely blended and smooth I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over to my container and this is the best salsa for burrito bowls in my opinion so i hope that you enjoy it um, this is good to stay in the fridge for over a week um, usually that's how long i leave it i hope you enjoy it hey guys so i just got back from a long day at work and i just want to whip up something super easy something that i mention all the time to you guys that i make and it is my favorite thing in the world have it about four or five times a week and I never get tired of it and as a matter of fact I had it today for lunch and I'm gonna have it again today and I just thought okay well I'm eating it so might as well make a video for you guys and show you guys how I prep for this so I got back maybe about seven minutes ago and right now I just have my uh, broccoli in the microwave steaming up and then we'll get to putting it together so here is what I am going to use to make my burrito bowl. I am using a half cup of black beans. You could use more, you can use less. And here I'm using um, home cooked black beans that I made on the Instant Pot, but you could always go ahead and use canned beans. Um, I'm using a cup of white rice, just steamed, no salt, nothing added, just water. Um, I'm using corn and this is from a can. I'm using broccoli that I've steamed in my steamer. I think this is so awesome. It makes it so much easier. And I'm using cilantro, lime, and onion, and my salsa that I showed you before. So this is seriously the easiest thing to put together. I am going to add in my rice. Add in my beans. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I could have it twice in a day. That's how good it is. Okay, just add corn and that's good. Add cilantro, add tons of onion because it gives it flavor. Going to add some salsa. And this is salsa that I prepped um, during the weekend, and it is just delicious. I love it spicy, but you could always make it not spicy if you want. Okay, and now, since I'm going to be the one eating the broccoli, I don't care if I use my hands. So just load it up with broccoli. And I could also, I've also added um, cauliflower before, and it's so good. I just don't have any. And you could add carrots, you could add a chayote, it's like a kind of, I think like a potato 
kind of thing. It's really good. It's a good vegetable. And so there you have it. Easy, delicious. Okay, so fun tip. If you guys love eating vegetables, which you should, because um, they are awesome, then you could always warm up extra broccoli, extra veggies when you steam them up and just pop them in the fridge if you don't get to them. And then they just, they're just there. So, so much easier to than having to microwave something else again or cook something else again. It's just there, it's ready. You don't even have to think about it. You just put it in your food and there you go. Like, look at that. That is delicious. It's gonna taste amazing. Oh, and I haven't even added the best part, the lime, which I will add. And so you kind of get an idea on how big it is. This is my head and this is my bowl. Like, look at that, so good. Okay, so I'm hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and eat my food, but I hope that you guys try this out. It is seriously, I always have these staples in the fridge so that I can put this exact meal together. My husband loves it, I love it, and I think you'll love it too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoy this video, that you enjoy the salsa. It's my personal favorite and you could always substitute tomatillo with red tomatoes. I think that one's really good too. You can even use it for enchiladas, you can use it for uh, sopas, you can use it for just about anything. So I hope that you give it a try and I'll see you guys next time.